All right, guys, it's, what is it? February 7th now. We're already past January, a week into February, and I have no content out this year, pretty much. I've been fishing, I just can't seem to get on anything good. I've put in over, I don't know, over 30 hours of fishing in January, and nothing really much to show for it, and I never really realized how hard January could be here in Florida, and I've been watching like other YouTubers in the state and noticing that they're not catching much either, but it's no excuse. I, I could go out and post these videos and, you know, film all day and post a video of me catching three red breast sunfish, but I just, I don't know, I don't know. I'm not ready to do that. I want to put out good content for you guys, so I apologize for that month and a month or so break there, but I was trying. Nothing good is happening. I... I'm going to get back to the water soon, and I could have gone fishing today, but like I said, it's been so tough lately. I keep trying and failing to get content, so I think it's just the universe telling me that I need to sit down and actually do some home videos for once. I haven't done this in forever, and it's something I really want to start doing more on my channel, and actually, the perfect opportunity presented itself. So this package right here was sent to me by a subscriber when I dropped my uh, my crappie video. He's actually has a YouTube channel himself and we follow each other. This guy is awesome. He does like all these ultralight reviews. He catches a lot of fish up in the in the Great Lakes area. Ugh, in the Great Lakes area. And he he knows everything about ultralights. He has the best ultralight reviews on YouTube and the guy catches a lot of fish. He's really awesome. So you should go check him out. But during that video when I was crappie fishing, I missed a ton of fish and I guess he felt bad and decided to send me a package and Apparently there's a lot of other stuff in here, including crappie, crappie gear, but I have no idea. I should have opened this package a long time ago, but I just haven't been making home videos in a long time. I've always been going out and fishing and recording, so it kind of took me a while to get around to figuring out how I could set up a little nice little backdrop instead of recording it on my damn kitchen counter like I used to, and to get my audio right and get the angles right. We'll see how this goes, guys. Watch me open this package. It should be full of a lot of cool stuff. I have no idea. I want to do a lot more stuff at home. I want to talk about tackle. I want to talk about multi-species fishing. A lot of stuff, micro fishing, all that stuff. I mean, there's so many things in fishing that I do that is, are just uncommon. You don't hear from a lot of people that I, that I need to share. So we're going to start with this random mystery package from my, bu my buddy over at iFish LLC. I think that's his YouTube channel. It's iFish something, it says LLC here. I'll put the link to his YouTube channel in my, in my description here, so definitely check him out. He's the man, he's an ultralight guru. He catches a ton of crappie. I've seen him catch musky, uh, lake trout, and all kinds of stuff up there in the Great Lakes area. But without further ado, let me get into this dang thing, man, and stop talking. Let's see. I really have no idea. I have an idea of like, what the heck? <clears throat> I ran out of space while I was opening the dang box, but I still haven't looked in it. Are we, are we good? Alrighty then, wow. He said he was sending me crappie jigs. Well, there's a lot more than just crappie jigs in here, it looks like. Oh, and a letter. Nice. Wow, this thing's full of stuff. All right, let's see. It says, Finna, first of all, I want to tell you that you are a national treasure just like Richard Jean. You have a unique personality and knowledge and true love for fishing. Don't be lazy and keep up the work on your YouTube channel. Honestly, I see big for potential for your channel as long as you tend to it. He's right. I need to... Stop being lazy, really, to be honest. I've been trying to fish, but I could be doing more, so he's right. Good, good words. Thanks, I needed that, man. He says, now what's in the box? I got a list here of what's in the box, but I kind of want to just dig through it and see what it is myself before I read all that. And it says, at the end, if you ever want to make your way to Chicago, give me a holler and we'll get on the boat and catch something nice. It says, good luck with your channel and with fishing buddy and he signed it there my buddy over at iFish wow I really appreciate the letter man in the box this is awesome and sorry it took me so long to get around to doing this but better late than never I suggest let's see what we got a bunch of stuff man okay 
First off, we've got some really nice sensitive looking floats. Ooh, some nice eyelets. Man, this guy hooked it up. A lot of stuff in here. Oh, nice little glow sticks. I actually use those a lot, slip floating, a lot actually. A little nice two watt drop shot hooks. Those would be good. Those would be good for like snook and bass fishing and stuff. There's my TV making a noise. Oh, some tippet. I could definitely use that. I got a fly rod I don't use very often. Some really interesting swivels. I've never seen anything like that. The real long stem there. Pre-snelled hooks. What is this? Oh, huh. They're like little, little dough hooks. Whoa, that's awesome. That's so good. Little bread hooks. I never have any hooks that keep bread on good, so that'll be awesome for multi-species fishing. That's actually crazy. I never considered that. These are going to really come in handy. Awesome. Treble hook covers. And some baggies. Nice. That's a nice little random package. I like that. Nice, nice Fuji guides they look like, or some, something good. Ooh, ooh, jeez, man, he gave me so much stuff. That's awesome. All right, I'm gonna slow down a little bit here. Wow, these are the tiniest little swim baits I've ever seen in my life. Look at those, they're so tiny. This is my favorite. A little eyeball on there, nice shape to it. I got perfect plastics for all this stuff. And these ones too. I love, I'm a sucker for eyeballs. Those are sweet jig heads right there. I love those. Those are definitely getting used. All this stuff, if I get a chance. I already have too much tackle as it is. Let's see here. All right, let's see. We're getting to the end here, folks. Squid wafers. Squid wafers, eh? Let me sniff them. They actually... What? They smell really good. What the heck? I swear I'm not crazy. These things smell like... I can't put my finger on it. But they do not smell bad at all. They smell pretty good. <laughs> what the heck is this? Squid wafers. Fish well, and I guarantee you a result. Okay. Let me see. This is interesting. How? I guess. You, hmm. Let me see what else is in here. I wouldn't know really how to use that, but it's interesting. I like it. These are like carp hooks. Das Original. Some, I think they're German carp hooks. This is kind of carp gear here. This is some 10 pound tip it. Some more tip it or lead. Some nice light high end stuff. More car hooks. Yeah, these are awesome. Wow, I love these hooks. Nice and stout and small. They'll definitely come in good handy. I'm going to actually use them in salt water probably. And then these are like I see Luke using them on catfish and carp. Those just weird leads that you can like pack. Oh yeah, these are gonna definitely come in handy. This is the type of stuff that I don't have. And it's definitely gonna come in handy, especially I'm planning a trip up to North Florida and there's a lot of like bottom feeding fish that respond to chum well and these would be great for that. Just pack in like some grits or like, you know, oatmeal or whatever bread with some scent in there. A little procure, a little bit of worms mixed in. Catch some suckers over in North Florida. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to share too much. But yeah, they're basically used for carp fishing. But I can definitely use them for fish that respond to like grain chum. We and I haven't caught a carp yet, so wherever I run into commons or something like that, I can. Oh, and like this little method lead too, or I think that's what it's called. You can squeeze it onto it, and it's actually a weight. That's pretty sweet, man. Carp gear. That's, a lot of that stuff is stuff I don't actually have. 
I wonder if those are like boilies for carp, but they say squid, so I don't know. Interesting. And this, this is the grand finale here. This is why he sent me the package. Oh my gosh, he, wow. So I believe these are more handmade jigs here. I'll put, probably put the rest of those other jigs in here. Are we still on? We're still going. Oh yeah. Nice handmaids. Ooh, no way. No way, dude. These are my favorite jig heads. Man, you literally have all of my favorite tackle from the rods you review. This is stuff I s would search for for hours on the internet and finally find. These are Gamagatsu 211 round jig heads, I believe. I mean, they look exactly like it. If, if I'm wrong, then I bet you they're made in the same factory. Gamagatsu round 211. These are my favorite jig heads to fish soft plastics, like small crappie size soft plastics and salt water because they're really stout. They're really strong, really sharp, really good light jig head. So let's say you throw a straight tail crappie bait for a little small snook. You're trying to catch a sword spine snook. This is a perfect hook choice because it's not light wire. You can actually put some, some pressure into it. I love these jig heads, man. I think these are more custom jig heads that he makes or somebody hand makes. Oh, look at this one. It's so short. I love it. A little tiny guy little, for little baby plastics. And then here is the star of the show. This is freaking awesome. Okay, so these are just little clippers. If you guys watched that crappie episode, which I'm sure you did because that, that episode did pretty well, I missed a ton of fish. And that's what led to him sending me all this stuff. He said he was gonna send me some JDM jig heads. So what we have here are some Daiwa crappie jigs. Look at how beautiful those freaking things are, man. Oh my gosh. They got little eyeballs, ridiculously sharp hooks. I don't even, honestly, I don't even want to take them out of the package because I already know Japanese quality and these companies, they, they don't mess around. They can't mess around and I don't even want to risk doling them in the slightest bit until I have to use them. This is so nice. One gram. So I think that's like a gram. It's like a 30 second something around that. I could be wrong. I don't know. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. And then these are nice. These are really nice jig heads. These ones are very interesting. Really cool shape to them. Yeah, these look gorgeous. And then some, I never knew how to say this, Sayor. I actually have a one of these JDM Shimano lures. I don't have the jig heads. These are really interesting. I have no idea what, what it would be shaped like that for. I wonder what kind of action it has in the water. I'm interested to see. It's got like a little indentation towards the front end of it. And a really interesting hook straight back and then whoop. And then these are kind of like a dart head. So they'll move around a lot. The more carp type hooks, no eyelet, got to snell them. But like I said, I snell all my bait hooks anyway, so I'll definitely get some use out of that. But wow, so much stuff. Let me get it all over here. We got, this is the paint, custom jigs. Let's just throw all those loose jigs in here. Nice pack of jig heads and some weights. Some nice terminal tackle that's really good for multi-species, light bullets, some nice small splits, floats, bobber stops, some nice light high out quality line, some cool carp gear. I'm gonna throw these carp hooks in there. Kiss my crappie sticker. Cut more carp hooks there. Bag of assorted plastics. The littlest boot tails in the world. A million crappie magnets, sculpt minnows, so many plastics. Stuff to make my own jig heads with, which is I'm definitely excited about. Super glue. Assorted multi-species fishing tackle. Little little snaps. Gamagatsu little 
snips, dupe tube jigs, trout worms for warm mouths, and some more plastics. Jeez, man. That is so much stuff, dude. My buddy over at iFish, I really appreciate everything you sent me, man. This stuff is all extremely useful as I fish for every fish. So I, just about any fishing tackle is useful for me, but definitely look forward to seeing some of this stuff on the channel. And man, those jig heads. This is like the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen. I'm just gonna pull one of them out, all right? I can't help it. Look at this, man. These are gorgeous. Look at that finish with the nice glossy eye. That is so pretty. It's got a big old eyelet too, closed eyelet. I don't even want to take it out, to be honest, unless I'm using it. But you can see it there. That thing is so nice, man. One gram. I love it. That's so cool. I can't wait to use this tackle. This is such nice stuff. Anyways, again, sorry I'm a delinquent and I can't seem to get a video out consistently. I'm working on it, guys. I'm working on it. But like I said, we're going to do more stuff at home. So this just opened a door for me. I, I kind of like this little setup I have going on here. If I can figure out, if I can get myself together next time and not let my phone die and reset a million times while I'm doing it. But let me know what you thought of the video, guys. It's just a random little unboxing. I. I have, like I said, I cannot seem to get on anything January. I think I've caught, in like over 30 hours of fishing, I think I've caught two or three red breasts, a bluegill, and an American shad in like four or five different sessions. I've gone freshwater, saltwater, brackish, I mean ditches, canals, everything. Neighborhood ponds, I've tried it all. And it just hasn't been working out very well. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We definitely got more to come. I've got so many plans for this year and it's gonna be super exciting. So stay tuned. Until next time, guys, take it easy.